everyone, welcome to another Tootsie Blubber video. My name is Anna and today I'm going to show you beautiful Parga. Today I'm not in Finland as usual, I'm in Greece. This was a totally random journey that I booked with my boyfriend and uh, we were like, okay, let's pick this place and we just picked it and we came here, we didn't know anything about it and we were completely astonished. It's beautiful, it's gorgeous, it's like Pearl of Mediterranean. Welcome to Farga. Parga lays within the northwestern region of Preveza in Epirus. It's a small town that no one has ever heard of, at least none of the people that I know, and therefore it's a perfect Greek relaxing destination far away from big resorts and crowded streets. It's the place where on every turn you can find vibrant flowers, candy-colored houses, cats on every corner, locals peeking through their balconies, and lots of small mopeds buzzing around the small Mediterranean-looking streets. The three most famous beaches in Parga are not just out of this world, but they are also super close to the city center. Our favorite beach was Piso Crioneri Beach. It's a bit hidden, but luckily we got a tip from locals to visit it and it became our daily destination. Big plus, if you love pebbles like we do, that's definitely a place you don't want to miss. If you like sandy beaches, Crioneri Beach in the city center and Valtos Beach on the west side of the city are equally magnificent. Small tip, if you want to get a good spot at the beach, make sure to come before 10 a.m. The prices for the deck chair and sunshade are about 8 euros for a couple, but if you come around noon, you won't find free spot. At least that's how it is on Piso Crioneri Beach. While you're at Piso Crioneri Beach, take a coffee break with a tzatziki portion in Atrium Bar. It was and still is our favorite coffee place in the whole Parga with the most amazing views and really nice service. Once in Parga, I promise you that you're gonna fall in love in a variety of different restaurants, coffee places and cocktail bars. Since I got diagnosed with celiac disease, I've always had problems with gluten-free menus in restaurants abroad. Greece really surprised me in a good way. Every single place not only had a gluten-free menu, they were all aware of gluten-free diet, and I even found gluten-free Italian restaurant with one of the most amazing gluten-free pizza I've ever had in my life. There is one restaurant in Parga you just can't miss. We came to one of the most authentic and some say the best Greek restaurant in Parga. So let's see if it's really like people say it is. Sakis is restaurant you have to visit when in Parga. Usually there's a huge line to get to the table, but we reserved it the day before because we knew we have to try their food. And as we assumed, Sakis offered fantastic, knowledgeable service, super delicious food with a free dessert and welcoming drink, reasonable prices and the perfect traditional Greek atmosphere. If you ever get there, just wait in the queue. It's worth it. Satisfied with the meal? Same here. <laughs> we are so happy with the meal we just ate. We're full. Parga is built on a hill and like it or not, little workout is inevitable if you want to go from one part of the city to the other. If your body just can't handle a bit of hiking, there are taxi boats that take you for about 5 euros from one part of the city to the other. Maybe my favorite part of Parga are those cobbled uphill alleys, cause they're hiding so many different little stores and coffee places. I could spend hours exploring them. When you reach the top of the town, it's a must to visit the castle of Parga. 
It was built by the Venetians at the beginning of the 15th century and later on many times destroyed and reconstructed by different rulers. What I love about the castle is that from there you can see the whole city. I would recommend you to do it just before the sun sets down. When the sun is already down, the lively Parga becomes even livelier. If you like partying, Parga might not be the right place for you, even though there are a few clubs in the town. But what is great is that Parga has so many different and really good bars. When walking around the city, you will most likely hear famous Greek melody coming from many Greek restaurants, and here and there hear smashing glasses from local waiters to scare the bad spirits away. My favorite cocktail bar, which I warmly recommend for everyone who enjoys cocktails, is the Kamini bar owned by two brothers. In Kamini, I've had maybe one of the best cocktails of my life, with even better service. For a bit fancier experience, visit Med Parga. From there you can see the most amazing sunset in the town. Prices in Parga's bars are pretty spicy. You can buy pretty reasonable priced food from stores and restaurants, but if you go out for a drink, prepare for a bit spicier prices, similar to the ones in, for example, Finnish bars. Also, it is very nice to leave 5-10% to tip in restaurants and about a euro in a bar. Parga is definitely one of my favorite locations I've ever visited. What I really like about it is that it has so much to offer on such a small land area. If you're staying in Parga for more than a few days, I definitely recommend to take a trip with the boat to Paxos and Antipaxos Islands. You will pay about 15 to 20 euros per person and you get so much out of it. The boat takes you to few little towns. Several stunning blue caves. and you get to swim on a hidden beach with white sand. If you have time, this is a must. One thing about staying in Parga, or generally Greece, that bothered us a bit at the beginning, is that you cannot flush paper down the toilet. You have to throw it in a trash. Greece has problematic pipes and sewage system, and in many touristic facilities, there is no central waste disposal facility. All in all, Parga is one of the best places I've been to. The locals are nice, the food is heavenly, the beaches are delightful and the size of the town is perfect. You can walk from one side of the city to the other in only 30 minutes and there are so many things you can do around the place. We only had 7 days and we spent as much as possible time on the beach and in the sea. Cause nothing in the world can beat Mediterranean Sea. Ionian Sea, you had us at hello. And Parga will come back. Thank you so much for enjoying the video. I hope you had fun. And if you want to hear more about these beautiful adventures of my life, then subscribe down here. See you next time. Bye, guys.